Thought you might be bored seeing my face every time. So I tried something new. Comment down below and let me know if you liked it. And so without further delay, let's get this done. This is the most infamous trick I'll be telling you, but I showed it to some of my friends and they were still unaware about it. You can send live location to people which will track your phone's location consistently. You can decide it to be for 15 minutes, an hour or even 4 hours. You can also stop sharing your location in the middle if you want to, well, <laughs> obviously. By the way, this is a very good thing if you want your friends and family to be informed about your location while you are traveling. This should be the most oldest trick of all present out there. If someone sends you an audio note and you play it, you hear the sound from the speaker of the phone and is available for everyone around to listen to. But if you put the phone on your ear, it starts playing from the earpiece. Let me show you a demo. This is a very cool trick to use if you want to listen to audio notes at public places. Those I love you baby, miss you and all, you know, <laughs> you know it better. Recently WhatsApp rolled out a new feature wherein you can delete a message you have already sent. But let me tell you how to see the deleted message. Head over to the Play Store and download the Notification History app. I'll have links below in the description. First thing, you have to open the app and provide it permissions. Now the deal is, you can delete the message if you have wrongly sent it to someone. This is only applicable for 7 minutes after you have sent the message. Once you have deleted the message, it appears like this message was deleted and you can't read the text. But if you have the app installed, you can head over to the app and still read the deleted message. By the way, this only works for text and not images or videos. So this is something which was present way back, but even I noticed it after a long time. You can send the images as documents. This way, the actual size of the image is not altered and it's not even compressed. You should definitely try this one out. And I mean, not now, just finish the video. One more trick to go. The worst thing about WhatsApp is it consumes a lot of storage. The unwanted good morning and good night messages from all those friends and family group is really annoying. Moreover, if you have a phone with low internal storage, you're f But there's a trick to manage storage within WhatsApp itself and not many know about this. Head over to settings data and storage usage and then storage usage. Now here you can actually see and manage storage from individual chats and groups. You can delete images, videos, links and even messages all at once. This trick is pretty handy and it's more efficient than deleting image by image from the gallery. So if you're enjoying what you're seeing, Give it a thumbs up and I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel.